Hi everyone. Tonight I'm going to be playing with dominoes. Actually, I'm going to be refurbishing dominoes. These are the Dollar Tree dominoes, and they're very thin. They're made out of pressed wood, or pressed board, whatever you call it. But um, a lot of people are doing these now, and I thought I would do some. I have made three that are almost finished. They're not complete. And I have this little Eiffel Tower with 2021 stamped on it. And this is going to be a keychain. And this little couple under the umbrella. And then a door with an address stamped down the side. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put a hard glaze on them. Or do I want to put resin on them. So that's why they're not finished. I'm thinking I really would like to put them in a little resin box just set them down in the little tray and put resin around them but I'm not real sure yet if I have one this size or if I can get one this size I would have to take one to the store with me to find it and I have some bases covered in coffee dye paper coffee dye graph paper and then I have some cut out already and all you do is take the paper that you're going to use put the domino on it and trace around it you can fold the paper a couple of times and just cut out that one if you want to reuse several and then you glue it onto the front of your domino and it's that easy easy peasy I saw Nicole using a glue stick so I'm going to try it I was using art glitter glue, but this is a paper cover on it, but it's got like a finish on it. But I'm going to try and see if it'll stick. Because I want to get rid of this glue sticks too, so. And this is going to be one of my 100 things project. I don't know the number yet. I have to go back and check my videos to see what number I'm on. Because I kind of got away from them. And I need to get back on them and finish them. <coughs> now this is the same couple. Only this one has a white background. And this one has a pink background. So I'm going to use it anyway. I thought what I would do. Some of these are going to be hidden paper clips. Um, some would just be regular paper clips. Some will become tabs for journals I'm going to put two together and leave the bottom unglued so you can stick it down on your book for a tab I'm just I'm just I bought a lot of them from Johnny um, junk journal shop you can't find them anywhere in Tampa so she had gotten some extra set to her and she sold them to us for her price plus her tax and shipping which was a good deal because we couldn't get them. So she helped out a lot of us. I think she got like 20 packs of them. And I bought two packs. And plus she gifted me 10. Before I knew she gifted me 10, I had bought them. So... And as you know, I'm making journal kits, so I may, if I can find any more around here, if I can get anybody to buy me some and, you know, send them to me and let me pay them that and postage for it, then I may just put the materials and the dominoes in the journal kits to that are made their own. But I think they're going to be cute. I'm going to have fun with them. There's so many different things you can use them for. I mean, like I said, you can use them for tabs. You can use them for hidden paper clips. You can use them just for a regular paper clip. They're a little heavy, though. That's what I was thinking. If you put two together and put the paper clip in the center, this might be a little too heavy for 
just a regular journal page. We shall see. I may try one. So what I do first is I come through and I put my bases down on the ones I'm going to work on. And then I go back and I decide what am I going to use these for. Now I know this is going to go in a nature journal or a butterfly journal. So I could go ahead and put butterfly stickers or whatever I wanted to go with it on here. And you want to make sure you have them down securely so they don't come back off on you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this one I'll probably turn into a, a key ring too. Um, unless it has like a really cute little picture on it, I won't turn it into a key ring. And those will be like happy mails. I saw Johnny had made key rings. I said, now, wouldn't that be cute in the Happy Mails? Or in the thank you packages that you put in when people order from you? Finally, finally got the bags in to make little thank you bags. I don't know what happened there. I ordered them like six times. And the order kept getting canceled. So finally, I found a company that could send them. of them ready and 13, 14, 15, 16. I'll go ahead and do these last four just so you can see. But like I said, for now I'm just putting down bases and then I will have them all in a box and as I need them for projects I can just pull them out and they'll be ready to go. I can just put lace on them or cheesecloth and a picture or whatever I want. Like these here I already know is going to get Tim Holtz people on them because I want to use those up too. All the butterflies will either go with a butterfly journal kit or a nature kit but most likely a butterfly. Whoa! I messed that up big time, didn't I? <coughs> Excuse me. Allergy season. It is bad this year. So I got some wonderful news today. And today is May 11th. It is my daughter's birthday. So it was a good day to get some good news. As most of you know, I have been battling skin cancer for over a year. And this time, it just went off through me. It just, it tore my nerves up. Because I had a new place just pop up. Within two weeks of the last surgery, I had a new place pop up on my back. So I went and had it biopsied. And it was taking a long time to get the results. Like three weeks. Even the doctor, when I went today, she says, mm -hmm. it doesn't take us that long to get our pathology reports because we do them in-house unless they're questionable. Then we send them out to get somebody else to look at it too. Well, that went all through me. Because I was there today not for my biopsy results, but because I had a new place come up at the corner of my mouth and inside my mouth. All the whole lining on my cheek was just, it was all broke out. So I was scared. I'm not going to lie about it. I was scared. I have spent a week crying because I just don't want to keep going through it. I'm just tired of it. It's wearing me down. I'm just tired now. And I just was giving up. So I had a bunch of prayer warriors, and I'm not going to lie about it. There were 
So many of my good friends are prayer warriors, and they were praying hard and heavy for me and asking their friends to pray. And uh, today, as I sat in the doctor's office, waiting for her to come in and check this new place, I was praying as hard as I could. So she came in and I says, um, first and foremost, do you have my pathology report? And she said, oh, they haven't called you yet? And I said, no. So she got on the computer and she looked. She said, no, we don't have it. So she um, told the nurse to go call. And she did. And she couldn't get an answer. They were at lunch. So she said she would keep trying. Well, they scraped the inside of my mouth, which is not comfortable at all, people. It is not comfortable. It's just like they scraped the corner of my mouth and the inside of my mouth to send the tissue off to pathology, which is just across town. Um, this is a very large dermatology or, uh, group that I go to, and they've got tons of offices all over the United States. But their pathology lab is on the other side of town, and the office they opened in my neighborhood is just a little small office. So she said, well, we'll call you when we get the results. And I just broke down. I just started bawling. I said, I can't do it anymore. I just can't keep going through it anymore. And it upset her because I was crying. <laughs> and she just walked over and hugged me. So lo and behold, around quarter to five, my phone rings. And it's their office, and I answer. And it was the doctor herself calling me. She's never called me. The nurse always calls me. So she said that the scraping of my mouth shows no cancer cells. I do not have oral cancer. The scraping of the outside of my mouth is a, um, uh, it is a basal cell skin cancer, but it is minute it's because I caught it as soon as it came out and went in just like with my back I as soon as it came out I felt it when I was putting lotion on my back and I said oh my god what is this and I asked my husband I said is this a bug bite he said no it kind of looks like the last place you had so I immediately called my daughter-in-law who is the office manager for this group and got her to get me an earlier appointment to get me in so, uh, because I caught them both so early, I won't have to have the invasive Mohs surgery where they take a layer off, put it under the microscope and see if there's any cancer cells and go back and take another layer off and end up digging a hole in your body, basically, until they get it all. So... They're gonna have, they're gonna just do another scraping on both places to get the cancer cells off because it was caught early enough. So I'm begging all of you, if you get any bumps that are hard and white, or any changes to anything on your body, go get it looked at, please. Go get it looked at because I've had so much skin cancer because I've ignored it and let it go for years thinking. Oh, it's just a mole. It wasn't. Skin cancer can kill you. If you let it go long enough, it can kill you. So I'm begging everybody, please, go get checked. And yeah, I got off topic. But I have finished this. For All I'm going to do for these now is I have my first layer on them. And as I'm going to use them, I will you know, decorate them and use them, but I just want to, I don't want to decorate them now and then have to make something to go with them. I want to make something and then come back and say, I have the bases here, I can decorate them and put them in there. Okay, guys, um, if you find anybody that, uh, can find these, let me know, and like I said, I'd be happy to pay shipping and you know, 
the price of the dominoes if you can get any for me. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.